He is known for his philosophy of egoism, which argues that individuals are impossible to fully comprehend and that self-interest should guide one's actions. He is recognized for his rejection of societal norms and his belief in individual freedom and fulfillment. He is Max Stirner, a philosopher who urged individuals to embrace their egoism and reject authority and traditional notions of property. In the early 19th century, a German philosopher by the name of Max Stirner emerged onto the intellectual scene, challenging conventional notions of selfhood and individualism. Stirner's egoism posited that individuals were inherently complex and impossible to fully comprehend. According to him, no understanding of the self could adequately capture the richness and fullness of human experience. Stirner's philosophy contained elements of both psychological egoism and rational egoism, making it a unique and nuanced perspective. Unlike other philosophers who prescribed specific actions or guidelines for individual self-interest, Stirner emphasized the importance of personal autonomy and decision-making. He believed that everyone was driven by their own egoism and desires, and those who embraced this as willing egoists could freely pursue their individual desires. For Stirner, the willing egoist would recognize their freedom to act independently and reject societal constructs that imposed artificial truths such as law, rights, morality, and religion. Power became the method through which Stirner's egoism could be realized, allowing individuals to assert themselves and gain philosophical property. Stirner even went so far as to encourage insurrection against all forms of authority, including a disregard for traditional notions of property. Max Stirner's philosophy challenged the prevailing ideologies of his time, advocating for a radical form of individualism that prioritized personal freedom and autonomy. His ideas continue to provoke thought and debate, offering a unique perspective on the complexities of human nature and the pursuit of self-interest. Max Stirner, the protagonist of our story, challenges the commonly accepted social institutions and notions that shape our lives. He believes that the idea of the state, property rights, natural rights, and even the concept of society itself are nothing more than illusions, mere ghosts in our minds. Stirner advocates for egoism and immoralism, where individuals only unite in unions of egoists when it serves their self-interest. For Stirner, property is not a right granted by some external authority, but rather something that comes about through might. He boldly proclaims, whoever knows how to take and defend something, to him it belongs. What I have in my power, that is my own. He challenges the idea of respecting others' property and encourages us to see everything as our property, asserting, I do not step shyly back from your property, but look upon it always as my property, in which I respect nothing. Pray do the same with what you call my property. Stirner's philosophy goes even further, as he considers the world and everything in it, including other people, as available for one's taking or use without moral constraint. He denies the existence of rights in regard to objects and people, seeing no rationality in considering the interests of others unless it furthers one's self-interest, which he believes is the only legitimate reason for acting. Stirner boldly declares that society itself is nothing but a spook, a mere illusion, and that individuals are its true reality. While Stirner is often labeled as an anarchist, it is important to note that he may not necessarily fit into that category. In fact, some have separated Stirner's egoism from anarchism. Stirner critiques socialism and communism for their failure to recognize the importance of the individual. He believed that these ideologies aimed to hand ownership over to the abstract concept of society, effectively stripping existing individuals of their true ownership. Stirner's philosophy challenges us to question the social constructs that shape our lives and to prioritize our own self-interest above all else. While his ideas may seem radical and even unsettling, they invite us to reevaluate the institutions and values that we often take for granted. By embracing egoism and questioning the illusions of society, we may find a new sense of freedom and empowerment in our daily lives. Max Stirner, a philosopher known for his unique perspective on individualism and self-determination, found himself grappling with the ideas put forth by G. W. F. Hegel. While Stirner's work, The Ego and Its Own, may seem antagonistic towards Hegel's conclusions, it can be seen as a response to Hegel's question about the role of consciousness after confronting untrue knowledge and attaining absolute knowledge. Stirner's exploration of self-consciousness after realizing the power of self-determination presents profound consequences. He delves into the rediscovery of one's true self and the implications that arise from it. Although Stirner was influenced by Hegel, along with his contemporaries Ludwig Feuerbach and Bruno Bauer, it is important to note that he did not align himself as an Hegelian. In fact, he rejected attempts at critiquing Hegel and the Enlightenment, dismissing Bauer and Feuerbach's claims of emancipation. Unlike Hegel, who believed in transforming the existing world through reason, Stirner viewed the world as an object to be enjoyed and consumed rather than transformed. He saw the given reality as inadequate and chose to leave it intact, not seeking to change it but rather find pleasure within it. 
Stirner's rejection of Hegel's transformative approach highlights his departure from the realm of philosophy as a whole. Stirner's philosophy challenges us to question our own understanding of self and our place in the world. By embracing the power of individualism and self-determination, we can find liberation from societal constraints and norms. Stirner reminds us that true freedom lies in recognizing our own desires and passions, and pursuing them without being confined by external influences. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.